Mark and I just moved all the pieces of this table to the back porch. It wasn't too hard except that piece right there was really heavy and I don't think it's going to be that difficult to put together because it doesn't have that many pieces and the directions look pretty straightforward but we are ready to get this done. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second and welcome y'all back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here as always. And I'm also super pumped for everything that I'm going to get done in today's video. And I hope that you'll come alongside me and get your stuff done today that you need to get done as well. And if you have an overwhelming list, maybe cut it in half or even into fourths and just try to tackle a little bit of it because the reality is as moms and as wives and just as women in general, we cannot get it all done. We just have to do our best and try to tackle what we can and just let go of the rest. So in today's video, I am going to be tackling a lot of stuff that I have been wanting to get done for a very long time. So it makes me happy. It makes me feel good. But at the same time, it did take me several days to get this done. So please don't ever think that I can get stuff done in one day or everything done in one day. It takes me several days most of the time and there's lots and lots of interruptions so i hope you guys are having a wonderful day again i'm so happy you're here let's just get a bunch of stuff done together I'm gonna show a little bit more of the back porch and this table in just a little bit, but all we were focused on this day was getting it put together. As you can see, it was starting to get dark. Mark actually ran to Dairy Queen and got us some blizzards. So I was just happy to finish tightening these screws and then go inside and relax and eat my ice cream. We did order this picnic table off Wayfair. And what's funny is we went to a concert not that long ago. We saw a bunch of these tables sitting out and they were out in the elements. So hopefully it will last a long time since it is a little bit protected under our back porch, but so far we love it. I did do a little bit of back to school shopping just when they were having some big sales at Target and Old Navy. So I always like to wash those clothes and taking the tags off them. Y'all know how it is. It's a little bit tedious, but I wanted to go ahead and do that and throw them all on the same load just in case there was any bleeding, which there never is. I feel like there used to be a lot more bleeding. Maybe the dye and clothes was 
not held that well to them but now it seems like nothing really stains or dies anymore but it's still just in my head that I need to wash them together. I was also just really trying to keep laundry going because this is before Mark and I took the kids to Gatlinburg to have a little family getaway time. It was really really nice and we enjoyed our time together. We have not gotten away at all just the six of us in a while so I always look forward to the time that we can spend together like uninterrupted and without distractions and just away somewhere. It's still so crazy to me that school starts in one week, at least one week from the time that I'm doing these voiceovers. And I think my kids are ready. I feel like we're ready for a little bit of structure and maybe it'll tire the kids out a little bit because they have so much energy. But we've had a good time together this summer and made some really, really good memories. What is your favorite thing that you've done this summer or a favorite trip that you've gone on in the last couple months? I would love to hear what y'all have been up to. Okay, I have said for way too long how I want to trade out the toilet seat in here and I've had two extra ones downstairs forever and have not done it. I did it to the two toilets downstairs, but the boys and the girls bathroom both still need it done. So I'm going to get this area cleaned up in here and trade out these seats. Hopefully it won't take too long since I already basically know how to do it and then I obviously need to clean the toilet. This really is the easiest process to do. So if you're wanting to do it to your toilet seats, don't feel overwhelmed or intimidated because I promise you can do it. It's just a little bit of unscrewing the screws and maneuvering the toilet seat off, which you will see in the next one that I do. Just don't make the mistakes that I do of like putting your fingers underneath the seat while you're pulling it off because it will pinch it and it will hurt. Other than that, it is a breeze and it is a little bit disgusting, you know, to do and it's a gross process, but it needs to be taken off anyway to clean. So you might as well go ahead and trade them out. Hopefully these seats will last basically forever. They are so much easier to clean. The ones that we had before had permanent stains on them. No matter what I did, they would not get cleaned. So these are a lot better, even though I know they're plastic, they feel a tiny bit different, but honestly, now that we've had them for a little while now, I don't even notice at all.
Okay, boys bathroom is done and now it's time to move on to the girls bathroom. I also had a goal of getting this done before we headed to Tennessee because this night was trash night and I wanted to put the seats out because I didn't want them to just sit there in our garage forever. I wanted them gone. So this was just one of the many things on my to-do list before we left town. feels good to officially be done with the whole toilet seat trade out in our house, at least for now, hopefully. And the last thing I wanted to tackle before I went to bed was making these little caddies for our car ride. It takes about four hours for us to get to Gatlinburg and I knew I wanted the kids to have something to do. We don't really take electronics for shorter drives like this. So I wanted to make them something fun that they could look forward to, but also have a few educational things in there too. So I made these names for the caddies with my Cricut and it was super easy. It took all of five seconds and I went ahead and weeded them and got them ready and brought the transfer tape downstairs to do this. And I'm just so thankful anytime I get to partner with Cricut. Honestly, it feels like a dream. It's one of my absolute favorite companies to work with because it's something that I use all the time. And I just love the way these turned out and how easy they were to make. I'm also going to be doing some organization here in just a little bit with a little cabinet that holds a lot of our kitchen stuff and needed some labels on it. So I'll walk y'all through how I do all that and show y'all how it looks because I love it. And I did get the little caddies from Target in the little bullseye section. I think they were $3 each and all the stuff that goes inside was from Target too. Just like simple road trip things. I put some note cards and sticky notes and wet wipes and tissues, some crackers, a little bit of candy, some mints and crayons and pens, just enough to entertain them on the ride and make them feel special too. I love doing things that are unique to my children, especially when you have four. Sometimes stuff gets all jumbled in together and they have to share everything. So I like doing this when it's easy and simple and super affordable just to make things special for them. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd Y'all, we played so much with those snakes. The kids have taken them and who knows where they went and I need to order more because now bird poop is starting to collect back here, which is lots of fun. I'm gonna wipe this table off, put it in the garage. We don't really need it anymore out here. 
and then wipe off the table really well and sanitize it and then i'm just gonna blow off and sweep the back porch but i do think on down the road here pretty soon i need to pressure wash it again and then the grill is typically in the garage but i think we're gonna start just leaving it right here unless it becomes too much of an eyesore we'll see i'm also gonna clean the windows I love my window cleaner and my squeegee, but from what I've noticed from using it a ton is it ends up having the cleaner go down onto the siding and it fades the paint. And even when I've rinsed it off, it hasn't really been the best situation. So I think for my outside windows, I'm gonna have to just continue to do it this way. And we are also about to have our house repainted, probably just the same color, but because so much of it is in direct sunlight, it has faded a ton, unfortunately. So we're gonna have it repainted, probably like a better finish instead of just this matte, do something a little bit more eggshell, just hopefully something that can hold up over time for years and years. The color of our house is Sherwin-Williams Grizzle Gray. It doesn't really show up in the video how it is in real life. It's a dark gray, like a really dark gray. It does have some green undertones, but it's not green. I really love it. We had never seen it before on anything. We took a chance and when they painted it, Mark and I have both been obsessed with it ever since. But after living here for several years, it just needs a touch up for sure. And I've tried to use microfiber cloths on the windows or some other type of cloth and these windows get so dirty that after just wiping down one basically the microfiber cloth is ruined paper towels just works the best i mean they get super super dirty so i really need something i can just throw away Since I have filmed this, I have ordered those snakes and I also went ahead and was way extra and ordered these little circle mirrors to hang too from the lights because apparently birds don't love their reflection so they kind of fly away from it. So far it has worked. I will link both of the things that I ordered for the birds. Obviously I would never in a million years hurt a bird or anything like that 
but I just cannot handle the poop that they put on the porch. We actually have a red bird who basically lives on our property and he, she is so precious and beautiful and he basically knocks on our front door. I'm really not joking and has become like our little family friend, but I still don't want the stuff that they let out of their body. I wish they could go do it, you know, in the yard or in the 8 million trees that we have or just anything but this tiny little concrete slab off the back of our house. I've had these little seeds for a long time. I told the kids that I would plant them for them and we'll see if they grow. We have not had a ton of luck with stuff growing that we plant. We typically kind of can keep things alive, but as far as starting from scratch, it's not our strong suit. So keep your fingers crossed that maybe something will grow here, but this is how it looks for now. I really, really like it. Like we're heading in the right direction. I definitely still need a rug. I thought I could do without one, but I just don't think that that's gonna work. I think I need a rug and some other stuff for out there. And while I had the soil out, I wanted to just go ahead and do this other planter and tackle it. If you guys heard my whole dilemma in not doing this, it's because the soil after I planted these snake plants smelled so horrendous. Like it seriously smelled so bad. And I didn't even want to do the second one, but after about a week, the smell completely went away. And it's not just that I got used to it because my nose is very sensitive. So I would definitely pick up on any of those nasty smells and it doesn't even stink at all anymore, which is really great. And this bag did not even smell when I put it out the first time, which is also wonderful. But of course I made a mess as usual. So I'm cleaning that up. Tell me for a second, I got needs. Occasionally, I set them free. Don't hold me back now, I'm in the lead. This part, so cold life. Mm. This part, so cold life. What a time to be alive. Lately, I've been dancing on my own, so pray. I know I mentioned in my last video how I like the pantry to be organized going into a new school year especially, but I was just in here trying to figure out what groceries we need and I realized I probably need to go through these papers that are from last school year and I think the one before and I probably need to update these pictures too, but they're just so sweet. This I got from Hobby Lobby and it has worked great to hold their schoolwork that we need in the present, but I obviously hang on to papers a little bit too long. I will show y'all how I keep papers that are sentimental or special over the years for them. I have those bins upstairs, but I was just looking at this right here and I kept opening different drawers to try to get to what I needed. And I kept opening the wrong drawer because I never keep stuff in the same spot. So I started shifting stuff around and figuring out what I wanted in each drawer. And I'm going to label these and it's just time. I know I mentioned this probably even a couple years ago that I have bought a chalk pen to write on this, but let's just be real, my handwriting is not that cute. So I'm going to use my Cricut and make some labels. It's gonna be super easy, and that way everybody knows what's in these drawers and we don't have to open every single one of them up just to find something. And I'm a list maker basically for everything, so I went ahead and typed up what I want each of the labels to say, or at least something like that, because when I get upstairs, I will absolutely forget unless I have them written out. Still not totally sure about placement of stuff up here in my office, but I did bring up this new rug that I got. It is more along the lines of the color scheme that I'm going for in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum really quickly and roll that out. And I do wanna hang this clock too before I make those labels for the kitchen.
feeling in my bones I could feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I Today I'm using my Cricut Maker and I will link everything that I'm using for this little project in the description box below so y'all don't feel lost and you know exactly what to get if you wanted to do something like this too. But I'm using my Cricut Maker. I'm going in Cricut Design Space and like I had mentioned, I already had all the words that I wanted on the drawers and so I always go through and mess around with fonts and just make sure that it's a font that I like and can read. Obviously, not that many people are gonna be reading it, so it doesn't matter that much. I did want cursive and something fun, and I knew I wanted white vinyl because the drawers are basically black, so I wanted this to pop on there. It's just a preference thing for me, but once all my words are ready, I like to group the whole thing together because I know exactly how it's gonna look on the mat, and that's how I'm gonna cut it out. And then, like I mentioned, I wanted to use the white vinyl, so I'm measuring out exactly how much I need and then cutting it. I don't like to waste vinyl. You'll see here in a little bit when I go to weed, I even save the outsides of the vinyl just because I could totally use it for another project at some point down the road. And then I just lay out the vinyl on the mat and I use my scraper sometimes to make sure that it's flat and doesn't have any bubbles so the Cricut can cut it the best that it possibly can and I'm just selecting vinyl and letting the machine work for me. If you guys aren't familiar with Cricuts, they are just smart cutting machines that can cut so many different types of materials. I have the Maker and the Joy. The Maker to me is my favorite just because it can do just about anything. The Cricut Joy is fun because it is portable so you can take it on the go if you ever needed to do that. I actually like to go ahead and cut all of my words out individually. I feel like it's easier to weed that than to weed like this huge piece of vinyl because vinyl is sticky, this type of vinyl. So if it gets stuck together, you might end up in a little bit of a pickle. I have really just been on this kick of wanting to organize my whole life lately. I don't know if it's something about school starting back up or what, but even little steps like this to organize something that I use every single day makes me happy and it makes me feel productive and calm and peaceful. I also just love tapping into my creative side because sometimes you can feel like all you do every day is the same type things when you're a mom and a lot of your energy is spent just doing all the mom things and it's nice to have this outlet to be super creative but it's also being productive and helpful to your family. You do pull up all the extra vinyl that's on the outside of the words, but then you are left with the insides of the letters. So like the inside of an O or the inside of a G still has that vinyl that needs to be pulled out. So that's when you use your weeding tool and you go in there and get all those little pieces. I've mentioned this before, but it's my absolute favorite part of the process is weeding. I just think that it is so relaxing and calming. And this is a very crucial step to doing any type of project like this, but you need your transfer tape. And it's basically a big piece of tape and it goes on top of your vinyl. And then you use your scraper. I like to scrape it on the top and on the back because I feel like the vinyl comes off on the transfer tape so much better that way. And then you use your scraper to also put it on whatever surface you wanna put it on. And as long as you scrape gently, but with enough force, then the transfer tape comes right off and it leaves your vinyl on the surface. And another tip that I'll add, you do not need to use a different piece of transfer tape for each of these labels. For this entire project, I use one piece of transfer tape. I always measure the biggest word or biggest label and make the transfer tape that size. And then I use 
use it for everything that I'm doing. And of course it loses stickiness towards the end and then it's basically trash, but it will get you through more than you think. And this is the final product. I love the way that it turned out. The kids always love it when I label anything. Sometimes they laugh at the things that I label, but this type of stuff really excites me and I don't know, there's just something to be said for organizing spaces in your life that you want to have organized and you just feel so much better after it's done. So if you guys are wanting a Cricut machine too, I highly, highly recommend them. You guys know I basically use mine every single day. Besides my intermittent fasting journey, these are the most heavily requested videos on my channel. So I do plan to do a ton more of that over on my vlogging channel once school gets started back up. And again, everything that you could possibly need for your Cricut journey is going to be linked down in my description box. Thanks again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. The kids were actually eating dinner, and so I went ahead and started the dishwasher because I was so far behind on dishes. Then I moved on to a little bit of laundry from our trip, and then you will see I come back to the kitchen later because there are still so many dishes to do, and I wanted to deep clean the floors downstairs, which took forever, but it was so, so worth it. We brought home two full suitcases of dirty laundry. We went through a ton of clothes because it was so hot and the kids were really, really sweaty most days. Well, Mark and I were too. So I was separating that out into the kids' laundry and our laundry because I wanted to take the kids' laundry up to their laundry room. I wash their stuff with different detergent. And so I don't like to really mix our stuff together. But on top of the clothes, I also wanted to wash their tennis shoes, not just for the germs and grossness that comes from going to like Dollywood and public places and public restrooms, but also because they got pretty dirty too. So I just always throw the tennis shoes in the washing machine with a little bit of powder Tide. And then I add some of the good smelling beads. I just can't help it. They smell so good. And I also add bleach and I know that scares some of y'all you've mentioned before it makes you nervous but I've never had an issue with it so if you ever want to try it maybe you can always just add a tiny little bit of bleach but they don't come out looking brand new but they come out looking so so much better and I just love that mentally they feel a lot cleaner too It's a good bit later now and the kids are all in bed and I think Mark was even about to be getting in bed too, but this is one of my favorite times to clean because there's no distractions really. Well, the only distractions are the ones that I choose. So I will either watch some of my favorite people on YouTube or I will listen to some music or watch something on TV or just have it playing and just go to town and clean everything. And I don't deep clean my house every single night. That would just be crazy for me. It would take way too much time, but I hadn't done it in a while and I knew that I needed to clean the floor. So I wanted to at least take some time, wipe down the chairs, wipe down the window sills. We have spiders, like lots and lots of spiders. And they're a little bit crazy when I was wiping stuff down, I noticed them. So I sprayed where I saw the spiders and I left it and then once I was done wiping down with this cloth, I came back with some paper towels because I do not want the spiders on my cloth. I'll show y'all in a second. There were several of them. It was really gross. I got your letter. Guess this is better 
You win sometimes, lose sometimes, no need to apologize It was the distance we had between us It broke us down in disguise, no need to apologize That I miss you now And I need to reminisce this Cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at our moments And they keep coming back to me I can't help that I miss you now Kind of crazy but that load that I had just started a little bit earlier was all the way done and dry so putting it away super quickly and then reloading it yes that's how far behind I was and I wanted to mention that the kids craft area over by the table is working out really well yes I did end up having to put away a few of their colored pencils and crayons and stuff most of those were what I found underneath the table but for the most part when they're awake I mean they clean up everything they know where it goes and they put it away especially when I ask them to. So I'm really loving that area right there. Hard working every day. I'm stressed out 24 seven, babe. No, no time outs. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Special memories together. I'll be your company now and forever. I say we fly away, you and me. Go to our favorite place. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. Just doing one of my favorite things with my favorite smelling cleaner. This is the baking soda cream cleaner and it is just, it's so heavenly. I love the smell of it so much. I could just stand over the sink for like 30 minutes and scrub, but my back starts hurting after a while. I just love when I get to this part of my cleaning and this part of my night because I know that the end is near in all the best ways and the sink is empty, which doesn't happen that much. So it's always a really good feeling. Coming up very soon on my channel, I'm going to be painting the island. I told you I was doing that once the kids are back in school because it just makes the most sense and keeps it a little bit easier for me, I guess, schedule wise. So along with that, I am going to be reorganizing all of our kitchen cabinets and drawers. And I have noticed that over the past few weeks and months, how things are just not really set up where they need to be. And certain cabinets are overcrowded and some cabinets are borderline empty. And it just doesn't make sense to have certain stuff where it is. So I'm going to be really thinking through where I want stuff and almost like coming up with a blueprint of where I want it all to be. Of course, I will be filming it too and sharing it with y'all, hopefully to give y'all some ideas too and to also motivate motivate y'all. I just cannot wait to finally get that all done. And then on top of that, we had a really bad storm the other night that blew out several of our outlets in our kitchen, including where Mark makes his coffee. And that typically I can just 
switch the breaker, you know, flip it off and back on and it'll start working, but there are a few of them that are just completely dead. So we're going to get an electrician out here and see if he or she can get that figured out for us because we are not experts at all when it comes to that type of work and we definitely don't want to mess anything up and get electrocuted. So that's just another thing that I need to add to my list of things to do and people to call. This Hoover vacuum cleaner is just incredible. It is my absolute favorite as far as cordless goes. And it's crazy because the suction is almost just as good as one with a cord. And it's nice because you can move around a lot faster, but just look at how much that it picked up. And on top of that, it vacuumed my entire downstairs without having to recharge the battery. Well, I didn't do my bedroom, but the entire main area of the downstairs, which I think is really, really good. And it's a vacuum cleaner that is less than $200. So it just really doesn't get better than that. I would recommend it a thousand times over. It is so good. And I alternate with my O Cedar Spin Mop and then this Steam Mop here, which I bought from Amazon. And it was one of the cheaper options, but I still feel like it works really well. In certain areas you do kind of have to scrub or I get down there and use my fingernail if I really need to, but it makes the floors feel and look clean. So I definitely would recommend it too. It's in my Amazon store down below, but I will also just leave a quick link to it in the description box. The only con I would say with this steam mop is the cord is a little bit short. So you do have to constantly trade out where you are plugging it in. And because we have several outlets in the kitchen that don't work, that was a little bit tricky trying to find somewhere. But thank goodness we have that outlet underneath the couch that came in handy for sure. And I do love the easiness of using this. Like you don't have to keep dipping the mop head in and squeezing it out and all that. You just go over all your floors. And I went over a few of the places that seemed pretty dirty several times, but it got it really, really clean.
I love that song so much and for some reason the lyrics of it just seem to apply extra these days but I really hope that y'all got some motivation out of today's video and that you're feeling hyped up pumped up ready to take on whatever you need to do or maybe you're feeling relaxed and ready to head to bed because I know a lot of y'all watch my videos to wind down at the end of the night regardless I hope that you feel happy and loved because you are definitely loved by me and don't forget too that I have an Instagram and I would love if y'all would come on over and follow me over there. I have an easy link down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye friends.